Oh, hey, Michelle. Oh, hey. So would you mind answering 33 questions about Ryerson real quick? Of course. So what program are you in? Early Childhood Studies. And in what year? First year. How did you know that ECS was right for you? Well, I always wanted to be a teacher, and when I found out that Ryerson had a program where you could work with kids all four years, I knew it was perfect. I have to go. Do you want to come? Yeah, for sure. So, do you have a favorite class? I do. Human development. It's kind of like biology, so you get to learn about the brain. Do you have a favorite prof? Nitty. She's such a sweetheart. I have her for two of my classes, and she always brightens my day. What's the most exciting thing in first year? Probably meeting all the new people. Your first month is probably meeting everybody who's new on the campus, and it's just really great to be able to go hang out with them and learn about what makes them happy, which is really lovely. What's something you were nervous about? Definitely the course load. Ever since I was in high school, they were always telling me that university is going to be so much harder. And it definitely is, but Ryerson really wants to see you succeed. What's something people would be surprised to know about your program? We sadly don't just get to play with kids all day, as much as that would be lovely. We do have to take extra courses, like human development, which is really tough because it has biology. What's one word to describe Ryerson? Exciting. There's always something going on. Oh, um, by the way, where are we going? To a student council meeting. Oh, so you're involved on campus. I am, yes. I am my first year's rep, and I'm part of Power to Change, and on my floor's council. What's your favorite part about being involved? Uh, definitely the fact that you get to meet new people. Everybody is so willing to just go out and have a good time, so it's so fun. What's it like getting involved as a first year? Kind of nervous at the beginning. The first few weeks of going to meetings can be a little strange because you don't know everybody. But definitely by the first or second month, you'll thank yourself completely because you've made such a family on campus. So you said you lived in residence, right? I do, ILK 7. What's a common misconception about ILK? Probably that we're quiet. My floor became a family on day one and we have the best time together. What's the best part about living in ILK? Uh, everybody is so close-knit. My floor is there for me no matter what, and I just love being with them. What would you say the feeling of community is on campus? Um, definitely a family feel. Everybody here, is, everybody here is here for you, and you're just always able to go and see somebody if you want to have a chat. What's one experience that's changed your life? Definitely Kenya. When I was in Kenya, it was so much fun. And you're just able to be able to talk to people and to be able to really experience it with them. And it really solidified for me that I wanted to be a teacher. Where's your favorite place just to hang out on campus? Balzac's. It has the best lattes. And you can always just take a seat and chat with friends. Oh, hey, Jessica. Oh, my gosh. It's so good to go to Kensington. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll text you later today. Okay. okay. See ya. So, how's your first year placement? It's great. I'm at the Ryerson ELC and the children are absolutely precious. And what do you do there? Um, we're able to make activities for the kids, so I make six this semester and I implement them. So, what should people consider when they're choosing a university? Definitely choose something that's going to make you happy, not something that you think is going to impress you or your friends or your family. Definitely what's going to make you happy because in the end, you're the one who's doing the program for four years. So what are three things every university student needs? Um, a portable charger, coffee, and a Presto card if you live in Toronto. What do you like most about Toronto? That there's always something going on. You're able to go out with friends no matter what hour of the day, and people are always just down for a good time. What's something you like to do for fun? Um, probably go to Soul Cycle with my girlfriends. We do that, and then usually we'll go and find a cute coffee shop just to study. Where's a place everyone should go visit? Jimmy's Coffee. It's a super cute coffee shop. It has three floors, and it's really great if you really just need to grind out some homework. What's your favorite nickname for Toronto? The T-Dot. Where's a good place to study on campus? Um, the SLC, the beach floor. It has really big tables and you can really just spread out and jam with your friends to some music. What are your summer plans? I got my absolute dream job. I'm the program director at a summer camp back in Oakville. What's something you're passionate about? Um, my family and friends, traveling and educating children. To look back, what's one of your favorite memories from this year? Frosh week. It was so much fun. I got super close with my whole entire floor and Ryerson throws some really great parties in the quad. 
And finally, why Ryerson? Well, Ryerson to me meant a place where I was able to be around family and friends. Everybody here is super sweet, so kind, and you always have such a family feel on campus. I know that if you come here, you'll thrive and you're going to have the best time of your life. Thank you so much, Michelle. Fun meeting. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.